Why did a $23,000 wolf costume get so much media attention? When first suits from popular makers regularly hit vibe makers, sometimes even more. An unidentified Japanese engineer revealed to Toro Yuida had an obsession with animals in realistic animal costumes appearing on television since childhood, dreaming of being one eventually. In June 2022, they spent 3 million yen, equivalent to $23,000 on a realistic wolf costume made by Zeppet, a Japanese costume costume that specializes in monsters, robots, and animals. They knew about the company, then realized they accepted custom orders and immediately contacted them. Yuida Ida and Zeppet sent more than 40 emails with images and details like coat pattern and fur texture of their dream costume. A short of success, they placed an order after getting a quote. In three face-to-face -face meetings, they measured and fit the costume. Images of real worlds were used for reference to discuss the small details and they were incorporated into the costume. All production changes and fitting issues were quickly addressed. At the final fitting, Yuri Ida was amazed at their transformation. It was difficult to make it look like a real bipedal wolf, but it looked exactly as they imagined. They also incorporated inconsistent ventilation slit or whatever comfort and devices for unassisted wearing. Zeppet found a delivery service that would transfer large costumes along with replacement parts. It took three days from the final fitting to delivery, which felt long to them, as this is the kind of excitement they hadn't felt in a long time. Despite the high price, the costume was finished in 50 days and finished on August 5th. This is quick compared to most person makers, who usually take up to a year or more due to smaller staff teams. Zeppet's known for creating realistic animal costumes that get significant attention online. On March 1st, they finished a realistic quadrupedal border collie costume for Toko, who also desired to turn into an animal, costing 2 million yen, equivalent to 15 thousand seven hundred dollars and taking 40 days the twitter post received 10,000 likes and toko retweeted with a video getting 55,800 likes for comparison the wolf costume tweet only gained 1,600 likes many first year makers dream of such recognition one thing might get confusing however why are these media outlets reporting on these people getting animal costumes when this happens very often with furries there might be a couple of reasons and it all starts with being foreign many people are more interested in those outside their culture despite japanese culture expanding to western markets for decades through the anime and manga many still can Consider it foreign. While there are furries in Japan, the vast majority of them in the West, including the United States, Europe, and a lesser extent, Australia and New Zealand. The other reason might be obvious, but it's its high price. Big numbers are used by YouTubers and journalists to get a lot of clicks and views. While first two makers in the past decade have slowly raised their prices, they're still far below Zeppet. Beach Cub, a first two maker known for their realistic fursuits, just a full plan to create fursuits starting at $5,000, and a digitally fursuit with realistic animal leg pairing for $6,000, while quad suits start at $15,000. At first, Zeppet's animal costumes may seem overpriced. While they're usually catered to businesses that are less price sensitive, I think their prices are fair. Many fursuits can take months and even years depending on complexity. Full digital gray fursuit of a complex animal like a dragon will take more time than a mini partial, consisting of the head, ears, and tail of a simple animal like a dog or cat. Fursuits of Zephyr's quality can take over a year or more for fursuits who have limited staff and time. The extra staff raises the price, which may or may not be worth it for some. Some may pay a premium for it to be made faster, even if the quality is the same. The biggest reason is that they're not considered furries, but theory or people who don't consider themselves to be human. Traditional media for decades had negative biases towards films like science fiction, Star Trek, and My Little Pony. Since the early 2000s, this had extended to furries, due to them being LGBTQ+, and sex positive. This was the market and negative false stereotypes, the most infamous being CSI's 2003 episode, Fur and Loathing, where detectives they investigate a murder of a furry, go to a furry convention, and discuss furry students getting to not say polite situations. The stereotype has worn off in the 2010s due to social media giving furries a voice they previously didn't have. It's all even more accurate farting on the fandom. Despite this, there are those who still despise them, causing it to become a cultural issue in North America in 2022. Despite the reputation of furries and traditional media having improved, they still aren't reported on as frequently, only report on large furry conventions. While there are websites that report on the fandom more specifically, the less mainstream. Furries have made their own websites to report on the fandom, including Play Rock, Dog Pack Threats, along with the many YouTube channels and Twitter accounts. We all don't want to get attention online, but for furries, news articles aren't the best way. Like many other fandoms, furries are based on social media, which is one of the best ways to get attention. Most furries are years have been on Twitter, which specializes in short film messages. Despite Elon's acquisition putting the platform stability into question, still one of the primary ways that first year makers, artists, and other content creators promote themselves and reach customers. Other popular platforms include Instagram for photos, TikTok for short form video, YouTube for long form video, Twitch for live streams, and Discord and Telegram for communities. While these platforms have expanded to other media formats, they still have their specialties. Content can be also reposted across different platforms for greater impact. For first year makers, artists, and content creators, word of mouth promotions from fellow furries is more affected than traditional media coverage, especially if they regularly post about it. Having a furry influencer to talk about you can be especially powerful in attracting new potential customers and help turn a hobby into a full-time business. While the traditional media attention Zepit's animal costumes have received can be helpful, in the internet age, it's the people that decide who to seize. If you want to know about other expensive fursuits, check out fursuits being sold for $50,000 and how fursuit makers are changing the way that fursuits are being sold.